what is the wholesale price of an item if the retail price is $106.56 and the amount of markup is $34.56. All right, let's see what happens here. We copy and we paste. So this is quiz 11, question four. And there we are. All right, so which formula do we use? Let's go back to the formula sheet. And we have what? We have the wholesale price. We have the selling price. What is the wholesale price? The retail price, which would in this case be the selling price. And we have the amount of markup. All right, so it looks like we should probably use this formula right here. S is equal to C plus M. All right, so let's put that in. S is equal to C plus M. And what do we have? Well, we are given some information such as the retail price, which is the selling price, 106.95. And we are given the markup, which is M, 34.56. All right, so with that, we should be able to find the wholesale price or the cost. All right, so 106.95 is equal to the cost or the wholesale price plus 34.56. Okay, so let's rearrange the equation 106.95 minus 34.56 is equal to the cost or we could say that the cost is equal to, uh, we could write it the other way, 106.95 minus 34.56. And that would give us an answer looking like, let's use the calculator, 106.95 3, 4.56. And that gives us an answer of 72.39. Okay, 72.39. Okay, so that is indeed the answer. That is the wholesale price or the cost price. 72.39, we go back to the question, we enter the answer, 72.39, and we submit, and we have to wait a little bit, and we are wrong. Why? Because I think I entered some wrong numbers, 106.56, Sorry, this is wrong. This should be 5.6. And here would be also 5.6. And here would also be 106.56. All right, so that would give us an answer looking like, let's go back and use the calculator, 106.56. 6.56 minus 34.56. The answer is $72. So 72 is the answer. Let's go back to the question and we put in 72. And that should be correct. And there it is. 
It is now correct. So that is quiz 11, question number four.